time for Breaking It Down with Brittany, where I take different weather terms and events and help you understand the science behind what is actually happening. So what is wind? We've had so much of it recently. Well, it's basically the difference in air pressure. Everything wants to be at an equal pressure. So, for example, if you open up a can of soda, right, what happens? You get that fizz, you get that thing. It's trying to equalize the pressure, and it's going to keep doing that until the pressure is equalized, then it'll stop. Same thing, if you have a stronger pressure, it's going to take a little bit longer and it's going to be a little bit stronger as well. So that's how you get forceful winds. So here's what's happening. If you have a high and a low pressure together across the nation, what, they're both weak, you're gonna get some weak winds trying to change that pressure there. But if you have a strong high and low pressure and it's kind of closer together and you get these stacked isobars, that's what these lines are called, that is the pressure gradient, that's when you get those strong surging winds that we have been feeling is exactly what's happening. Low pressure right ahead of us, high pressure just off to the west moving in. And in between those two, we're gonna get wind gusts up to about 30 miles per hour today and then as we cruise through the weekend that high pressure still isn't far away and this low pressure builds and this one is a very strong one where we're going to see wind gusts up to about 40 miles per hour through this weekend plus some severe storms as well possible so now you know what's going on with wind and how it forms and it's all about the pressure i hope you learned something today and that's it for breaking it down with Brittany.